if you're new to Linux like me and you have no idea what's going on, sudo, what the, f this is where I come in. I'm going to help you. We are going to learn together. Oh. Hello mum, yeah, I'm just in the middle of making a YouTube tutorial. You want your, your Line 6 USB sound card to work with your lovely <gasps> Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigabytes. This little on button was made from my old shaver. Uh, I ripped it apart and I took the button out and uh, connected it to my Raspberry Pi and that works as a on off button. This is where the button came from. Let's get these hooked up together and run through the process of making them love each other through code. If you're anything like me, you've been looking for this solution for ages. I'd searched through all the forums and I found this. This was on the Raspberry Pi forum. Uh, it's UX2 and it's Raspberry Pi 3. I'm using UX1 Studio and Raspberry Pi 4, but this, it works the same. Massive uh, shout outs to Jack on Fire for the solution. You go on to Kernel Building, which is, I'll put a link in the description. Kernel Building for Raspberry Pi. This is what we'll be following today. And also, followed the kernel process. Hadn't realized that this needed to go in. So if you followed the kernel process like I had, and the, the UX one is still not connecting, you need to put this little bit of code in to your config file, and it'll work. So straight into it, we're gonna do this together. I'm holding your hand. This is me stretching out and holding your hand. What I realise is this page is actually broken down into two, which graphically doesn't really show you too, too well. But you've got local building, which is what I will show you, which is what I did. And then you've also got cross compiling. Building locally is actually building on your Raspberry Pi, not on your MacBook or your uh, Windows through Linux. So we're going to build locally, which is on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. Easy peasy. We're going to do this. I did it. I don't even know what I'm doing. First of all, you want to get this code here. Copy it. Control shift paste is what I like to do. Chuck that in there, enter, and then that'll get the packages for you. Do you want to ins install, click yes. So that's the first bit. Second bit, easy peasy. You get the git, basically you get the, the git sources. You get all of the code. You want to install that stuff. Control paste, second bit of code, easy peasy, enter. Choosing the sources, you can set up if you know what you're doing, which I don't. You can choose which bits of code. So I'm pretty sure I could have just chosen the uh, Line 6 drivers and just installed those, but I thought I'll just install all of it. I might use it for other things in the future, so I installed all of it. Next up, we've got the kernel configuration. This bit, depending on which Raspberry Pi you're using, there's different sections to this, which I've got the Raspberry Pi 4, so that's like this bit down here, nice and easy. Again, just copy and paste this bit here, straightforward, copy. Chuck that in there, I've just cleared it. Chuck it in there. It will go through, it opens up the, f the file directory Linux, I think. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Enter, there you go, configuration written. So you can copy and paste all of that code in as well. You don't have to do it bit by bit, although I did when I first went through. You can just copy and paste all of it in. Works beautifully. So in between the build configuration and installing the kernel, the modules, the device tree blobs, you need to modify the config file. So to do this, we take the code that Jack on Fire has very kindly given us here. And we copy this over without the dollar sign. Don't need that dollar sign. Open up our terminal window. We've configured the kernel, I guess would be. We've done the first part. Second part, boom. Chuck that in there. It's gonna give us the okay for the line six. Enter. That should all be ready to go. So now we go on to the next part, which is building the kernel. So this is the last bit that you need to do. It's really straightforward. Again, you can just copy and paste all of this into your terminal page. <laughs> I love it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Terminal page, chuck it in there. Now, this bit takes a little while. It took a while for my um, Raspberry Pi to do it. I've got Raspberry Pi 4, so I'd imagine if you have anything slower. So as I said, that bit will take a little while. It's just finally finished on mine. There we go, so it's all installed on my Raspberry Pi. It's uh, built the configuration file for the kernel. It then does the rest of the code. So it, you know, we put in four different command lines, so it's done all four. And now it should be good to go. 
you've rebooted your computer. Now, let's find out if it's worked. My first thing that I did when I first installed it, went up to the sound and I right clicked and Pod Studio, boom, UX1, it's there. Just make sure you select the studio and we'll go on to my favorite, my favorite website, my favorite YouTube channel, Skatewine. Um, I've heard the guy that does that YouTube channel is an absolute legend. Got my speaker just below the camera. So let's see if it has worked. Hello and welcome to Skatewine. There we go. Skatewine. So now we've got USB sound through our UX1 device. Any problems? Give us a comment. I might be able to help you with the process. I might not be able to. Uh, I think we're, we're there, we're there. So there we have it. You should have your Line 6 device running on your Raspberry Pi 4 on Raspberry Pi OS. Hopefully, I'll leave links in the description to the Raspberry Pi forum where I got the information, the kernel building. Just remember it's in two different sections. I hadn't realized that. You don't need to run all the way down. I'm new to Raspberry Pi and Linux. I've only been doing it for two weeks. So it is the blind leading the blind. If you do have any questions with regarding code, go and check out the Raspberry Pi forum. It's really good. And I hope I've helped you. If I've not helped you, then you've, I've wasted your time and I'm sorry that I've wasted your time.